Fuck Kairos TV, be cool and subscribe. Hello everybody, what is going on? It is Cairo here and we've got some huge news regarding Brock Lesnar and the Universal Championship. But before we can before we begin, can we get a five like go for all of you, the audience and the fans? Can we reach? This is a challenge for all of you. Can we hit five likes on this video? It will be greatly appreciated. And now let's not waste any time. After the WWE draft and brand extension, Dean Ambrose held the WWE title on SmackDown Live, which left Raw without a world championship. That led to the certain of the Universal Championship, and it's been the richest prize on Monday Night Raw since Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Goldberg, and Brock Lesnar are the only four men who have held the championship to date, which is an elite list of great performers. The Beast Incarnate has been holding onto the Universal title since winning it from Goldberg at WrestleMania 33. Despite a limited schedule, Lesnar is expected to hold the title until WrestleMania 34 in April of next year. A lot of people have disliked Brock holding it for holding it for an entire year, but some shocking news has come to light that shows the success of the Universal Championship has on Brock's shoulder. Well, we don't think that. As it says here on Inquisitor Wrestling News, a lot of people are happy because we think that Brock Lesnar now is devaluing the Universal Championship. We have a world champion and we barely see him on Monday Night Raw. Talking about that, tonight is the Go Home Show for Raw at Survivor Series, which Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman will be on, talking about their new challenger, the new WWE champion AJ Styles. Since former um, WWE champion Jinder Mahal dropped the title to AJ Styles at Manchester last week on SmackDown Live. It's being reported but in less than two years, the Universal title is the fastest selling WWE title belt that WWE has ever produced. Before this happened, the spinner version of the WWE Championship was the top selling belt in WWE history. However, the WWE Universal Championship belt will outsell even the spinner belt that was sold and featured on WWE programming for almost a decade thanks to John Cena. The WWE Universe has not only embraced the Universal Championship, it is now the most popular title belt in WWE history. It's unclear why the belt has caught fire with fans, but a lot of credit should go on to the four men who have held the championship. It's interesting they say that because, remember when it was revealed in that Finn Balor vs. Seth Rollins match last year at SummerSlam, a lot of people were booing it at the Barclays Center, a lot of people were upset, raging about it, getting upset, ranting on it on YouTube, Twitter, whatever. A lot of people were upset, so now we're saying, that now it's the fastest selling um, title since John Cena's spin about is interesting. I do not understand that. Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, and Goldberg all had brief reigns with it. But Brock Lesnar's year-long run clearly shows his ability to move merchandise as a top performer. There's no doubt about that. Brock Lesnar earns millions. Brock has many fans. I like Brock Lesnar, but I don't like Brock Lesnar being the Universal Champion right now. He's doing nothing with it. He's doing absolutely nothing with it. The next man expected to hold the Universal title is, drum roll please, Roman Reigns. Is that a surprise? Is that a surprise to anybody? The next man expected to hold the Universal title is Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns is returning tonight on Monday Night Raw, where the Shield will have another reunion. The failed Shield. And also Paige is expected to make a big the return to WWE. I'll report in another video about that. There is no reason to believe that the championship will continue to sell on his shoulders since he has one of the biggest baby faces on the roster over the past few years. It's also what what? Roman Reigns, the biggest baby face? No way. You mean WWE trying to make him the baby face in their third attempt? It's also interesting to know that the title has outsold even the WWE Championship from SmackDown Live. That title may have, may have a lot more history, but it's clear which title is the most coveted by the WWE Universe. No surprise about that. If you have a man, Jinder Mahal, a jobber, having one month build to become a WWE Champion, did absolutely nothing with the title, isn't great in the ring, isn't a great promo, of course. Of course he's devaluing the WWE Championship. Of course the Universal Championship is on Lesnar outselling. Um... Jinder Mahal and the WWE Championship, but now AJ Styles is WWE Champion. I expect some, at least some, credibility to go to that title. And you know AJ Styles is going to make that title feel special. He did that in his first run when he had it for what five months. 
just to drop it to John Cena to make him tie with Ric Flair. So that is all the news we have on this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Carol's TV. Link is in the description. Follow me on Twitch at Carol's TV. And make sure you all enjoy your day. And I will see you on the next one.